Hello and welcome to another Edexcel ICT video. Today we're looking at paper two. This is a specimen paper and we're going to look at the question on presentations. So this is the sample paper and you see the time there is three hours which is what is how long the exam is. And then we've got some things about the data files there and I've included this and the paper in the link below check out the dropbox there is a link to all the things you're going to need for this total marks for this paper is 100 and it's worth just taking a look at that in your exam so scroll down and have a look at that there how does that fit in it's in section b we've got presentation software is the very last question so now i'm scrolling through this is something i need to take a look at i've got the scenario here and you can read that there. This is a scenario that you get given in your exam. And you've got an address, telephone number there, website, email, and the most important thing there, the house style, uppercase letters for the company name, top margin set to four centimeters, and logo in the top right hand corner. So let's jump in and have a look at this question. This is question B5, and it's on page 54 of this PDF document. Question B5, Selvi is given a presentation about a company at a conference. This is designed for slide one. So this is the wireframe of what she's expecting. You can see the logo there, top right hand corner, company name there, title, image of boat, image of boat there. And Selvi started to produce slide one. She has added the company name and title and images from the images folder. Open the presentation cruise. So into that folder, this is what you get. This is the presentation that she's already started. This is what we're working with today. So let's go and have a look at the question. What are we asked to do? Make these changes to slide one. Insert the ITSC logo you created from task A1A. Change the company name to match the house style. So in A1A, we created a logo for ITSC. I'm going to go to insert and pictures and insert that. So this is my logo that I made. Don't worry if you don't have a logo, just insert an image for now, just as a placeholder. But remember the house style, that has got to go in the top right hand corner. Right, change the company name to match the house style. If you remember from looking at the earlier, we need to change this to be capitals. This has got to be in capitals. Now in Word, there's an easy way to change lowercase into capitals. I'm not sure that exists in Power. PowerPoint. So what I need to do is simply put the caps lock on there and just simply over type that into the sunset and change that to capital there cruises and just move that across like that. two marks enter your name candidate number and center number in the center in the slide footer so down here is the slide footer and i need to put my name in the center number and candidate number thankfully at excel already provided me with the space to put that in there so that was relatively straightforward and that is another mark Question three, create one slide about the islands and one slide about the harbour. Use this design for these two slides. You can see we've got a wireframe here. I need to make those, these slides. I've got to make another two slides. Each slide must be fit for purpose, include text from the presentation document, include a suitable image from the images folder. Okay, so that text is this here and it's again it's available in the folder it's called presentation with capital letters so this has got to go onto there and i've got the island and the harbor slide there okay so i'm going to start with i want to make a new slide now i want to copy i want to copy this design i want to keep it consistent i'm getting marks for making it consistent so two ways i can do that i can go to view the slide master here the slide master hasn't been set up or created so it's only another two slides so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to simply duplicate selected slides 
okay and then i can work on i've made a copy of that slide there i've got the same text color i don't need to hunt around for that I've got the same background color I've got the logo there my name in the bottom there i've made less work for myself it's made made my job a lot easier okay so this slide then i need to make one about the islands and one about the harbor this first slide then is going to be about the islands so i'm going to change that take the caps lock off and i'm going to call that islands like that and i might make that just a little bit bigger now i'm going to get rid of these images here i'm going to keep the logo though that needs to be there and i'm going to move this down here i'm going to place my text in there later i need to find an image to go in there and it needs to be from the folder okay so i need to go to insert and pictures just browse to that folder in office 365 2007 there's an images folder and there's lo there's a few images in it let's say loads there's 12 images in there that i could pick from but i need to choose them wisely if my slide is about islands i need an i need a picture that shows islands so i'm going to choose image for that the islands and i'm going to just shrink it down just move it across like that and again powerpoint wants to give me design ideas i don't want them i don't want to use them because i'm not going to make my slideshow consistent if i do so i'm just going to close that okay so i'm going to shrink that down a bit because i want to just position my text there so the text is from here and i need to make sure i've got the right one there the island is at the bottom there and i'm going to copy that and i'm going to paste that into there i'm going to overwrite this and i'm going to paste that in okay what i'm going to do is i'm going to left hand justify that so back here let's have a look at that each slide must be fit for purpose include text from the presentation document yep done that include suitable image from the images folder okay so i've got the title there logo image and text have i done that for this slide title logo image and text i've got one more slide to make now i need to make a slide about the harbor and it needs to have the same layout so it makes sense that i'm going to choose this slide and i'm going to new slide and i'm going to duplicate it and this time i'm going to change that to harbor make sure you spell it correctly i'm going to get rid of that I'm going to keep that text in there because I'm going to copy the harbour text over it. I don't want to delete the text box. I'm just simply going to right click and highlight that. Right click and that pastes that text over it. Now I need to get a new image from the folder. This is about the harbour so I think that's suitable image there of a harbour so I'm going to pop that in there and just move that across like that again getting rid of the design ideas I do not want to be using those and I'm just going to try and shrink it down sort of line of sight with this slide two just try and make it look like that just try and line that up there okay try and line that up there just trying to provide some consistency okay so i've got the title logo text and image each slide must be fit for purpose include text from the presentation document suitable image from the images folder so let's just go back and have a look at the mark scheme so i've done i've inserted my logo i've got my company name correct case uppercase so i've got two marks there can it number center number and footer three marks there correct and consistent layout one mark yep it was consistent Correct text, suitable image, yep. Island slide and harbour slide, suitable images, done. Three marks for fitness of purpose. Bullets rather than paragraphs. I didn't do that. So let's go back and have a look at that, okay? I didn't put these into bullet points, but I can quickly rectify that there. I can just simply take the sentences and take them like that and just simply put these bullet points in there like that. And I might just shrink that text down a bit to slice to size 24 so it looks a bit tidier again do the same here take the sentences as bullet points 
I made that slide size 24 and bullet point it. So what I've not done this time is use my notes pages. There's not a lot of writing there. I think that will be okay on that on that slide just as it is. Just tidy that up a bit, move that across there. And I think I think that fulfills the bullet points rather than paragraphs. So put it into bullet points. Text enhancement, bold italic underline. Don't think I really did a lot of that. So I've got some bold in there. Okay. Uh, I can't really see any italic. So I might just put that into italic there. Like that. I'm not really sure I want underline. I don't need to do all of those things. As long as I've got at least maybe a couple of them to show I can do that. If it's not appropriate to put underlining in, then, then don't you don't need to do it. Use of colour. Yeah, I've used this blue for the font and I've got colour in my background there. So I think I've covered all those bases there. Now I know you haven't got the mark scheme in the exam, but if we just look at this, this is going to be the same for whatever question you've got when creating a presentation. You need to be using bullet points. You need to be using colour. You need to be enhancing the text with bold and italic and underline. You need to do those things there. And you need to be reading the house style very carefully and applying that to the presentation. So let's, let's resave the presentation as cruise. So that is now it's already saved as cruise. So I just simply click on save there and that resaves that as cruise. print a handouts copy of the presentation that shows all three slides on one a4 sheet for one mark so we go to file and print here and then we're going to select handouts so here in full page slides, the second option here, three slides. That is my handouts there. This has notes on the right hand side that you can make lines to make your notes. Print handouts, copy the presentation that says all three slides on one A4 sheet. Now, before I pull the trigger and click print, I need to make sure that it's got my details in the footer and it has there. Um, if it hadn't, then I need to just edit header and footer there and just make sure that I've edited the header and footer to have my details on it. So that is a total of 10 marks and that completes the presentation task for the sample assessment materials. Thanks very much for watching guys.